Death to UK. Death to USA. They aren't pushing for little sectors that for one state to be a religion here or one state there. They've already got that. Iran is Muslim. It is Islam. A bit of jab is one of the He's a crazy nut job. That's the best way I can describe him. He's trying to bring about what he refers to as the 12th Imam. And the way to bring about is through terror and through war. And the more you study the 12th Imam, the more I, I see and how characteristics of the Antichrist. Because he shall bring peace to the world. But the spreading of a one world religion, that's been their goal from the very beginning. Muhammad said, spread it by the sword if you have to. They were working on Europe until, um, I forget, was it Charles um, Charlemagne stopped them and forced them back throughout history. We find them trying to do that once again. They are no longer doing it necessarily in one group mass all over the world anyhow. What they found was a new tactic. It's called sleeper cells. They come in, they start off one family at a time, they come in, they grow that family, eventually that family gets involved in the community, then they get control, then more and more Muslims come in and they grow through their children, then eventually they get, as the majority, they take over that local government, and from there they just build and build and build until finally they take over the main government. And by doing so, they eventually take over the nation. We've also seen sleeper cells in our own um, country as well. While they're sometimes small and not necessarily in the family format, we've seen them on 9-11. A group of people rise out of nowhere. They train on our soil. We train them. And then they attack us. They were sleeper cells because no one knew they were there. They were doormen. We've seen that in several different instances where they actually caught people before the act was initiated. And it's not just the United States, but they have sleeper cells in Europe as well. In England, Islam is on the rise. I don't know what the stats are, but last time I heard, they were the second fastest growing religion in the United States. But what about this one world religion? Is this indicative of the Antichrist, even though I've been expounding. Someone go ahead and read Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. 13 and verse 15. Could be 
kill them. They went back and forth. Those, there were those that remained true, and they were killed for their cause because they wouldn't switch over. But that's not the way the spirit of Antichrist is working. And if we've seen through that documentary, he's already working on establishing the religion, spreading it, getting it global. And that's one thing with the Muslim religion. They're working on a global religion. At this time, you are not allowed in Saudi Arabia. You know why? It's all Muslim. No Christian is permitted to set foot within the borders of Saudi Arabia. If you do, you might not be here in your body tomorrow. They have every right to kill you. For what? Is it, a, is it a governmental thing? No, it's a religious thing. It's Muslim. There is a one world religion already at work. These things that the Antichrist are already going to do, if it's one thing I hope you picked out from the documentaries, there's a spirit already at work. John might have already stated that, but I want to open our eyes and make it more real. There's a spirit that's already working. These things are going to take over. Take hold like that overnight. A one world government is not going to be established overnight like that. There are things already in the midst. We've heard for years and years and years about a one world government. We've seen it in different people. George Bush used the phrase one world government. There's a phrase on the back of your dollar bill that states one world government. There is, you have people like Napoleon. Um, Adolf Hitler that wanted a one world government. History has a term for these type of people. They're called megalomaniacs. I have a phrase for these people. Driven by the spirit of Antichrist. Because the more we study the history, the more we study our Bible, we find that um, the mighty strong horn of Daniel. Greece. Alexander the Great was a type of the Antichrist. Antiochus Epiphanes was a type of the Antichrist. And while they might have been a type, the spirit of Antichrist was probably working through these individuals trying to get this established for years and years and years. He's already been at work. Yes, I realize this was the time before John. But there's been a spirit at work trying to establish these things. One world government, one world religion, hatred for Christians, hatred for Jews, one monetary system. And we don't have any direct verse that I'm going to read for the one world government, but we can see further the one world, world religion in Revelation chapter 17, because there we see the collapse of the one world religion. Babylon will fall. In Revelation chapter 18, we find the collapse of the one world government. These are characteristics that are indicative of the spirit of Antichrist. And I'm not going to get into the actual spirit today. We're we'll talking about the actual spirit of Antichrist next week. But if there's one thing I want you to see with that documentary is pick out this. The spirit of Antichrist is at work in the world today. It's not going to take place overnight like this. But rather, he's already moving and working. And when it comes time, people will be willing to set the mark of the beast. Not only because of survival, but because the spirit of Antichrist has already prepped him to receive it. In that day, it's not hard to see a cashless monetary system to be in place because only in the mark to buy, sell, trade, so forth. Do we see that in our world today? I mean, we all have it in our wallets, probably. It's a credit card. I have seen now where they're working on, well, not already working, but they have established that you can have your credit card on your smartphone, on your cell phone, and with a swipe of it, you can pay. Years ago, before they even came out with the smartphones and everything, I remember seeing a documentary on TV where a family in Florida had chipped 
uh, computer chips placed within, I think it was their forearms or something like that, where the doctor could scan it and it had their whole medical history on it. They were already working on it. You know what they're doing for your pets? They can implant a, a chip in your pet in its foot. That way if it ever gets lost, they can scan it and they can track it down to where exactly it has to go. Call it what it, you will, I call it practice for the actual mark. Once again, personal stipulation. I do believe that the is very possible for the mark of the beast not to be 666. Don't confuse that with the mark of the beast. That's just the number of the beast. That's the number of the Antichrist. That's not his mark. That's his number. But it's very possible for the mark of the beast to be a computer chip. I mean, that's not that far-fetched to see in our day and age. Yes, I realize it's easy to make speculation on what we see. We don't make the Bible fit what we think. But would it be possible? Absolutely. It's not that far from where we are today. Like I said, I could be wrong, but we can already see the spirit of Antichrist prepping things, getting things in place. That way, when it comes time, there'll be a smooth transition right into a one-world religion, right into a one-world government. Any thoughts, any questions at this point? Anything that you guys want to talk about about the documentary? Just, uh, you talk about the Mark of Beast being a chip. I read, uh, I'm not exactly sure on all the details, but it was like a, a big resort where people basically spent their time in swimming suits. And uh, so being they don't have nothing hardly on, they, instead of carrying credit card stuff, they actually have an IV injection that they do, which is a little chip. So they can walk around the whole time this resort and just show, you know, it's under their skin and it pays their bills just like a credit card. At the end of their time there, they have everything that ordered. It's not to carry anything with them. So it's, it's definitely, you know, their technology. Yes, sir, and I agree with you. I just don't want to get into the point where I first start swimming and preaching. Well, it's got to be this way. It's got to be that way. That's how you get this nut job like the last guy that predicted the end of the world. You know, we don't know when he's coming. And you, there's a lot of things left to speculation. I, I agree with that. I'd say that at the very beginning. When it comes to Islam, this is my view. But I agree with you wholeheartedly, Brother Dennis. It's not hard to see. It would be far less hard to be a computer ship. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Could I be wrong? Yeah. Am I saying it's going to be that? No. Is it possible? Very, very possible. And that's interesting, Brother Dennis. I'm glad you shared that. Anything, anyone else today? If not, we'll just bow our heads in prayer.